Now let's talk about whether you need to use plain text format or HTML format in your emails. There are various advantages and disadvantages in both formats, so you have to pick your choice based on various things, such as demographics, niche selection, type of newsletter, and so on. All in all, whether you choose text or HTML emails, you will not likely get any big difference in your conversion rate as long as you word your emails correctly, focusing on maintaining your audience's interests to keep a good CTR in your emails. Let's highlight some advantages and disadvantages of plain text emails. Advantages of plain text emails. They look simple. They are easy to read. They are good for personalized emails. Disadvantages of plain text emails. Since spammers usually prefer this format, text emails usually go to the junk folder. They look like regular promotional emails. To balance things out, let's take a look at some advantages and disadvantages of HTML emails. Advantages of HTML emails. Good aesthetics. They make your emails look professional. They are suitable for newsletter-type emails. Disadvantages of HTML emails. Difficult to read on mobile devices if the design is not responsive. Difficult to create if you don't know HTML. Now that you know about some advantages and disadvantages of both formats, it's time for you to choose whether to use text or HTML emails in your list building campaign. Please note that it is always better for you to stick with one format once you've picked it, since most subscribers will feel uncomfortable receiving your emails if you keep changing the format of your emails. Do you want to promote digital or physical products? This is the question that you have to answer first, because it's important to determine the format that you will choose for your emails. The key is that digital products such as ebooks or reports are more suitable to be promoted with text emails, while physical products are more suitable to be promoted with HTML emails. The demographics that you are targeting in your promotion matters too. If your target audience is using their mobile devices a lot, then it is better to stick with the format that is mobile-friendly, which is the text format. If they use their PC a lot, then HTML format is more preferable. Note that your target audience has a strong relevance to your selected niche. What is the type of newsletter that you offer? This is also an important consideration. If you are offering a daily, weekly, or monthly newsletter containing the latest information about your niche, then it is better for you to use HTML emails to do that. But if you want to just build a personal conversation with your audience, the text format is the best way to go. This is true if you use your list mainly for promotion, not informing your audience about the latest news. HTML emails are always better to use if you aim to build your brand with your email promotion, because with HTML emails, you can easily place your logo on each newsletter that you send to your audience. Text emails, on the other hand, are suitable for marketers who don't have any company brand to grow, and their aim is to just build personal relationships with their audience. It is important to build brand awareness and developing a relationship with your subscriber base, because the more your subscribers trust you, the easier it will be to convert those subscribers into frequent buyers. Every email you send to your list should directly work towards strengthening your brand's recognition for value. This means that you have to be extremely careful with the kinds of products you are promoting, as well as the quality you endorse. Whether you are the creator or not, if you give it your stamp of approval, your subscriber base will hold you accountable if the product or service fail to deliver. You should always analyze each product or offer you are planning to promote so that you will not only stand behind it, but can directly answer any questions that your subscriber may have about the offer. Keep your emails focused and relevant. If you end up venturing into a new niche or interested in exploring other markets, you should start working towards creating an individual segmented list for each niche. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.